tip of the iceberg, if you think about it in whichever kind of field, New York is the place that people come to. to find ways to survive and means to survive and means to make it happen here. Yeah. So what I did is like basically focus, put priority on my work and that's why I created a studio and a space here in a very non-conventional place which is uh, the back of a motorbike shop. <laughs> yeah, I've, I'm like living here in New York since the last like four and a half years. Um, I've I moved here because I won the green card lottery about five years ago. If you're from Germany or from France or from Sweden, you want to come to New York and be acknowledged in New York for your work because they, you know, that saying that they say you make it in New York and you make it anywhere. It's it feels like it's true because I meet the best of the best in the from all over the world that still come here. Cuba. Right. Um, and I came over when I was a small child, 16 months old. I grew up in Florida. We did come over on a boat in the 80s during the Mariel boat lift thing, I guess. My whole, my whole family came over. I do design work for a retail and interior design fashion, merchandising, totally different, <laughs> so totally different from this. <laughs> it's like suit and tie, going to work, <laughs> completely different. But somehow it balances itself out, but yeah. doing the fashion stuff and then having to come here and do all of this. I lived in the suburbs, like I went to high school in the suburbs. I'm a hybrid, so I've been here for 10 years. This is like my fifth time coming back, so. The goal is to just survive and keep doing your projects, and that, to me, that's what it's about. It's about doing my projects, doing the projects I wanna do, and just figuring out a way to fund it or do it. My old man was a mechanic in Cuba. He was a mechanic here in the U.S. when he got here, and he had nothing but old American cars all growing up, so I was kind of surrounded by it. I went to the Cooper Union here in the East Village. It's an art school. Studied uh, fine art, sculpture, photography. Well, still sculpturing, right? Same shit, different day, I guess. <laughs> different kind of sculpture, I guess.
and do something to celebrate the diversity of all our cultures and try and make a type of music that black people, white people, yellow people, pink people, any kind of people would like or find some kind of association with. When you're really creatively your best is when you're challenged the most. And um, that's also when, as a person, you grow the most. That's when you have big challenges in your life and you turn uh, obstacles into opportunities. The thing is, that's always been my approach to creativity and to create stuff, is to be able to create something from nothing. Basically, I created this kind of bound zine, and what it is is I invited 20 artists to give me an essay, whatever they define that as. I mean, it's all different. Like in the first issue, there's this uh, this video artist and painter, Cheryl Donegan. She just like sent me these in the mail, and I scanned them in these collages that she made. So they asked us to to show these this, which which is really cool. So we actually printed another hundred copies, which we're going to give away tonight between seven and eight for free. In the time that I was here in New York, I um, tried to figure out, okay, shit, I need to make some extra cash where I can to survive, you know? So then we were like, okay, let's start a party, you know? So we decided we're gonna start this party called The Happy Show. If I kick it over, will it start today? I think it'll start. It'll start. And if it doesn't, then you're working on it. I don't know. It's a horrible addiction to have. It makes no sense at all whatsoever. <laughs> I've experienced that so many times, you know, like where you have so much and then you have nothing. And then you have so much and then you have nothing. <coughs> yeah, I have to make money right now. I told you before, like, I ran out of money. I'm happy to just start over again and again and again, you know? Yeah. It's not easy, but you learn new things on the way. If you move to New York, it can be really hard to make things happen, but if you take time and stay here, and things, things may happen. Yeah. <laughs>